Uh, my name is Haley, and I did the effect of negative and positive work on the growth of Siberian tomato plants. Um, this experiment is important because tomato farmers could impact the growth of tomato plants. Also, if taken to a further extent, it could potentially increase the quality or quantity of the fruit produced on a plant. Um, Tomatoes are water-based fruit, which could also imply similar results to water-based fruits such as watermelon, cantaloupe, or honeydew. Um, the overall question and hypothesis, will Siberian tomato plants experience any increase or decrease in growth compared to, the, to a control when exposed to negative or positive work? It was hypothesized that if work are being said constantly on an MP3 player to Siberian tomato plants, then the tomato plants with positive words being said to them will grow taller in centimeters than the plants with negative word being said to them constantly on an MP3 player. My materials I used were three germination trays, nine germination pods, nine Siberian tomato seeds, um, also, nine styrofoam cups, two bags of Miracle Grow soil, six grow lights, and two MP3 players. Um, first, to, I germinated the seeds by placing each seed in a germination pod, then watering them until they puffed up. I then put the germination pods onto a germination tray. I put 30 germination pods per tray. And then I put them in a dark room and I watered them every other day. After the plants got to eight centimeters tall, I transplanted them into a styrofoam cup. I set each germination pod into a styrofoam cup and I packed the soil around the plant, leaving four centimeters of the plant above the soil level. I, after I set up the recordings, recording positive words on one mp3 player and negative words on another and then I hooked them up to play on repeat to the to the Siberian tomato plants constantly and then I measured them for eight weeks every other day with a ruler. My results were that the control the control total control growth mean growth in, was greater than both the positive words mean growth and the negative words mean growth. This is the first table, control versus positive words. The experimental hypothesis was that the growth in control is less than the growth in positive words. The null hypothesis was the growth in control group is not less than the growth in positive words. The data does not support the experimental hypothesis. This is the second statistical data table, and it was the control versus negative words. The exper experimental hypothesis was the growth in the control group is greater than the growth in the negative words. The null hypothesis was the growth in the control group is not greater than the growth in the negative words, and, this, and the data did not support the experimental hypothesis. And the last one was the positive words versus negative words group. The experimental hypothesis was the growth in positive words group is greater than the growth in the negative words group. The null hypothesis was the growth in positive words group is not greater than the work and then the negative words group. And the data table did support the experimental hypothesis. Um, the conclusion, the purpose of the experiment was to test whether positive or negative words affect the growth of Siberian tomato plants. It was hypothesized that if words are being said constantly on an MP3 player to Siberian tomato plants, then the tomato plants with positive words being said to them will grow taller in centimeters than the plants with negative words being said to them. The experiment rejected the, the experimental hypothesis. It also showed that words did not affect the plants and the plants grew randomly and the overall results of the t-test did not support the experimental hypothesis. 
that the plants exposed to worth show greater, greater growth. My improvements would be to start the experiment in the early, late spring, early summer, because it would result in planting in the ground. Also, increased growing time. It would allow plants to produce fruit. And increased sample size would lower the probability of it happening by chance. Thank you. Um, what led you to this hypothesis that words will have an effect on plant growth? Um, I was on YouTube and I was watching these YouTube videos of um, of like water crystals where they they had like negative and positive words such as like evil or nice and in like the changes in the water crystals and it led to me that since tomatoes are water-based fruit it could possibly change the way that the growth in the tomatoes in the to tomato plant um, do you think language matters in the sense that what language you use? I think some language is considered nice and some language is considered like... No, we, I, I'm saying that in English or, or, or whatever. What's, what part of, of you think language is it that can affect? Is the content or something else in the, in, in the language? I think it would be more content than, are you meaning like content or like the way it's said, the way it's being said? Um, I'm thinking in terms of whether it's the resonance of the word, the vibration that it creates in the air, or it is the actual meaning of the word. Um, oh, okay, yeah. I would, yeah, I would probably say like the vibration would probably mean something in it. Right. So in, in that sense, it may not be actually the content. The, yeah. The, so it's whether it's negative or, or but it may be the vibration itself. That yeah. Can, uh -huh. How close was the, the MP3 player to the plants? Um, they're pretty close. They may be a couple inches away. Uh -huh. Yeah. And so, what, what, what were the words? The words were like, well, for the positive, they were saying, you are beautiful, you're going to grow tall, mm -hmm. and you're the best. And you just kept experience. repeating the, yeah. the same. And, and, and the negative, you are bad. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. But when I was looking at other researchers, I also saw that they just wrote the words on a cup and it still grew, like the plants still grew, like the positive grew taller than the negative. Yeah. Have you read uh, opposing views of this type of investigation into plants? People that sort of don't buy into the, this notion that, you know, uh, plants actually understand meaning of uh, or, or crystal that crystal thing um i did i haven't read too much about it but it would be right i mean it's important that you 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 look at both you know when you have a hypothesis like this that it's relatively um sort of unconventional yeah. um you you want to look at both camps what is one set what what you know, one set of folks say, and then what the other one. Because mm -hmm. um, it's, it's still contradictory, the, the whole concept of, of ice, you know, crystals. Yeah. And they try to repeat the experiments, and the, the, the author didn't uh, want to uh, go into that deal to repeat it with this other scientist. Because, I don't know, of course, everybody's interested in you know, if it works or not. But, it was uh, sort of very difficult to um, to confirm this one. No others were allowed uh, to sort of. Yeah. Um, 
I know that in Italy there's a group that uh, studies uh, the grapes, and what they do is this guy, uh, loud, like loud speakers, I mean, high volume, they, he decided to just send out music. So, like, you know, Italians are into music, and uh, this guy swears that the music has an effect on. But it's it was really hard to you know uh, confirm that. Yeah. Words. So there are people that uh, and it, it maybe it's the resonation that the energy that is um, you know um, so it maybe it even even the, the language itself yeah. the the type of language like English uh, Italian or what, what would matter yeah. in that sense. All right, thank you. Thank you.